What up, Bucks fans? This is Michael Plus of Real Bucks Stock. We're going to talk today about the Cleveland Browns defense and how they match up uh, against the Buccaneers offense. And obviously, from a Buccaneers standpoint, the first guy you got to look at is Miles Garrett. And let's bring up their here's our defensive starting unit. And Miles Garrett is the the one that we're going to have to you know make sure we target as far as pass protection and just finding ways to limit um, his big play opportunities because he's their best defensive player on their team with eight and a half sacks, and he's been really good for them. So you got to find ways to, you know, help Donovan Smith if possible, chip, do all those good things. Um, but you look at the rest of the unit, again, a very uh, solid secondary back there with Denzel Ward and Grant Delpit, John Johnson, Greg Newsom has been promising. So, uh, there's opportunities in the front seven and we'll get into that and talk about how it's going to be important for the Buccaneers to run the football and run it in different ways to keep things, um, you know, diverse and off balance and utilize play action passing game to really attack their linebackers, um, in the passing game and find ways to find matchups, whether it's with Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, uh, using your tight ends and obviously using Rashad White in, in the right ways. Um, but this is their their starting defense. And again, it's a defense that has struggled against the run. They've allowed over uh, 150 yards or 130, I think it is, 130 yards um, per game on the ground. Passing defense has been okay. Again, there's just there's plenty of opportunities for the Buccaneers to find matchups, whether it's using your receivers um, over the middle of the field and utilizing that play action to really attack the front seven and use that ground game out of the shotgun and in different ways. And you'll see when we get into the tape, how Buffalo did that. Uh, so with that said, let's dive into it. All right, here we go, guys. And obviously the first play is going to be a Miles Garrett sack. So you see him over here on, on the right side, going up against the left tackle and just really going to make this left tackle look silly. And that's what he does. He's just uh, he's a physical specimen and he knows how to win his one on one matchups um, consistently. So this is something that the Buccaneers are going to have to put a lot of attention towards and making sure that he can't you know make plays like this. As you see, just a nice little spin move, you know, hustle, relentless. Look how this this play i mean just spin move gets the the tackle off balance and then he's already chasing josh allen gets the sack really good job so obviously he's one to watch but this is what i talk about when you know running the football and the bills did a great job of deception they utilized guys in motion to get the eyes moving of the linebackers and really did a good job of double action where you had down blocks and guys coming around to create the seals and you see it here again just good job of coming down again finding ways setting up alleyways i mean that's a huge alleyway because again their their linebacker play is not the best because you have all this you know motion going one way and it sucks these guys in and then you already have blockers to get you know gaps so it's a great job, and again, good patience by the running back, and you see the gap right there. That is what you're looking for, and that's what the Buccaneers have to do, finding ways to attack this front seven. Again, same thing here, opening up the cutback lanes because guys are over-pursuing, because they're trying to be aggressive, and you can find alleyways. That's a huge gap there, and it creates opportunities for big plays. And then here, the next one, again, same thing, just going one way, down blocking, and then pulling alongside of it and creating alleys. Again, over commitment here, missed tackles, and then a great job by the running back, finding the cutback lanes, making guys miss. So there's opportunities to run the football against them. And as you see there with, you know, the, the running plays, and this is something that they just they struggle consistently to to find ways to get stops. And again, you see arm tackling, missing missing tackles. This is something the Buccaneers got to take advantage uh, on Sunday's game. So 
hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you think. How can this Buccaneers offense attack the Browns defense? It looks like running the football could be the answer. Will they do it? Will they do it effectively? We shall see. But with that said, until the next one.